So it seems someone who is closed off and guarded to the truth is still resisting. This is someone who knows that you have stepped into a different season or a new light. Someone knows that you are in a season of harvest. Hmm. And for many of you, when you're in a season of harvest, many things that you thought were lost will definitely come to light. I feel someone could be guarded because they're still existing and investing in cycles where they want you to believe there is change, completion. Yet this energy has a uh, energy of lack and doubt of trying to guard or ground themselves in the truth. I feel someone is still trying to ground themselves through a sense of confusion. There's a lot of emotion here. And someone is nostalgic, thinking about all the great conversations and the energy you bring forth, even though they know they have wronged you. This energy is hoping that you are open to receive, but I feel it's the control that they seek. And this is why someone is hoping you see change in them. I feel this is someone who really doesn't know what change truly looks like. And this is why they're trying to guard themselves. Yet they're setting something ablaze. Someone has yet to apologize. So there is a lack of forgiveness, even though many of you are harboring no ill will towards someone who has yet to realize they're gonna to have to do more than say they've changed. You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water energy here, where there is a lot of emotion behind an apology, or you could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, where someone is still seeking to ground themselves. But I feel someone will soon sit in a space of regret when it comes to a bit a bridge they burned with you. Something is still left up in the air, and someone knows they have lost themselves in a sense of confusion, but I feel in the effort of misleading everyone when it comes to the details, someone seems to have no gratitude for the grace you have given and the changes you have made. I feel someone is in a space where they're fragmented, lost, not wanting to be rejected. Someone is hoping that you give them grace when it comes to the details of a situation, but them being all in their head about a truth or expressing what they feel has left guilt astray. They're still sabotaged. Someone is still not seeing something even though they know they want something with you or from you. Please take it how it resonates, but something is still left up in the air when it comes to someone who is still not living in the present. I feel this is someone who has done some things in the past, as well as the present, which has caused them to be an illusion when it comes to change, or even their cheating ways, or their disloyal heart. I feel you could be dealing with uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, hmm. but I feel because of the bridge they have burned, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius is also coming into play. I feel this is someone who is going through a storm even though they feel something was necessary when it comes to their bad habits or the things they choose to do or say. But it, I feel things they do and say always seem to get them in a bit of trouble that they're never prepared to deal with. I feel this energy is guarded to an illusion or fulfillment, but someone is still not healing. Hmm. There's still distance and someone is still dealing with the seeds that they have sown. Hmm. Someone is still living in a facade. Someone doesn't want to see the truth. Someone feels like there's too much time in between and someone is also feeling like you should just let go when those same actions are in the present and still feels so no. I feel this is someone who doesn't want to reflect on things and this is why talking to them, being with them is so limiting. I feel their deceptions have caused a distraction, but I feel detours were faded when dealing with someone who is still living in their head or their imagination when it comes to you. I feel this is someone who thinks about reaching out. Someone wants to make an offer. I feel this is someone who feels making an offer through communication or some type of message will be some type of breakthrough but this energy is still being reckless 
which is why something was fated to happen when it comes to someone who is being reckless with you. I feel many of you have to find the strength when it comes to being comfortable in a situation or someone just wanted you to feel comfortable with dealing with this bond or toxic pattern. Someone wanted you to be chained to something that you may have found the strength to accept the journey or even the cold hard truth that some things and people may never change. I feel this is someone who wants to send some type of message. They're getting all the signs, even dreams to do so, but someone is still needing to heal. This is someone who could be still in a space of distance, and whether that's mentally, emotionally, physically, someone is at a distance because they still invest in reckless activity. I feel this is someone who wants to send a message, wanting you to feel they have changed. They want to make an offer, but someone is still sowing seeds, planting seeds. Wow. Well, which is causing something to be limited. And I feel they could be at a, a detour because of their te temptations, weaknesses, and deceptions. Hmm. Because from what I can see, many of you have the desire to love them, but you also have the good intuition to know that they have yet to change. Someone is still guarded when it comes to a facade, an illusion, and this is how they burn a bridge with you. I feel many of you are waiting for someone to ground themselves, but this energy is still not in the present when it comes to an apology, a truth. Someone is still in cycles when it comes to making a decision. I feel this is someone who is still seeking fulfillment in some type of lost connection or keep up a connection and a false foundation just so they can understand or even fathom the fact that they can't see or even invest in the truth because of how long they've been living a lie. I feel this is someone who is in their head or in their thoughts about something but still believing they deserve access. Hmm. If this energy is still closed off, believing that you're investing and harvesting in something new or better when I feel many of you are still trying to understand how someone can be so heartless and cruel when your only intentions were to love them. I feel this is someone who is fragmented to their guilt and even their sabotage. They're picking and choosing what they want to believe or what they want to invest in and this is why many of you are staying in your lane when it comes to someone who is wearing a poker face i feel this is someone who has a lot of trust issues and they are also trying to put that energy onto you this energy is claiming you have trust issues but i feel they are the ones who gave you those fears through their intentions but it's the trust issues that really cause many of you to leave something in the past I feel someone is turned on by the fact that something can be resurrected if they fully put their mind to it, but I feel this is someone who lacks when they still don't truly have the guts to face you. I feel this is someone who low-key wants to reach out. This energy wants to check on you, but I feel due to their lies and the company they keep, someone is unsure or even getting a taste of their own medicine. I feel the ball is in your court when it comes to someone listening to you or not listening to you, but I feel this is someone who feels all they need to do is pour out emotion, express some type of emotion to you. Yet I feel in so many ways they have lost direction on how to understand, accept, or even please you. Hmm. Someone has lost direction when it comes to stepping up or even reappearing. This is someone who wants to reappear, but in so many ways they know by bread crumbing you or hanging you out to dry that you've had enough or you're just disgusted with who they've become or even their attitude. Because it seems like they're always trying to hate on you or even distract you from the truth. Someone is mixed up into something that is not what they say it is or it's mixed up in something that is negative, draining, and possibly even borderline evil. I feel this is someone who 
wants everyone to take it easy on them. Hmm. But I feel it's only because they become so miserable. Hmm. So it seems someone is miserable in a partnership or miserable in a situation that was all about the material thing or all about the status, but someone is now causing trouble or in trouble. But I feel whatever they're going through is just a wake up call. Someone is now aware of what they have gotten themselves into. And if they're not fully aware, they're about to be. I feel this energy has deep emotion for you, but they also know they should have never played with you because your cutoff game is real and pleading with you and having some type of apology, it just won't cut it. This is why someone is going over the scene, over the evidence, going round and round, repeating the cycles, but I feel they're also getting instant karma for being a brick wall, not listening, or just being hard-headed. I feel this is someone who was refusing to change, but also giving into their anger, giving into allegations, giving into a fight. Now someone is wanting you to reminisce on the good times, the memories, the photos, the letters, because they are. I feel if it's not letters, of course, it is the messages. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel someone is wanting you to think about the good when in so many ways you can only think about the bad because it still exists. Hmm. So someone wants you to re remember some changes or someone is remembering how they chose to move with you because they're still not seeing something for what it is or still not putting the pieces together but I feel them choosing not to see will only backfire. Someone's plan will fail when it comes to what they're choosing to hide or block but I feel someone will be shocked when it comes to something that is unexpected, which I feel is you protecting or guarding your heart or even protecting what you're building, protecting the bag, protecting your space and your energy from someone who has hurt you time and time again. I feel many of you are protecting your energy. Hmm. Picking your poison when it comes to the pills and potions of someone's obsessions of plotting and pretending. Hmm. Plotting and pretending that they're not a bully or immature. Yet this energy is still sneaky. This energy is still sneaky and wearing rose colored glasses. Still blinded when it comes to the truth of love. And this is why many of you are not sure how to take their humor or their silence because this energy is always pretending something something never took place or something never happened i feel this is someone who blames everything on their weaknesses or something made them do it or this energy is always accusing and blaming other things and never choosing to take accountability and this is why reaching out to you is far-fetched or won't be looked at in the best light Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. Hmm. I feel like this energy wants to make an offer, yet I feel like this energy is stuck between what they think and what they feel. Hmm. I feel like this energy is stuck between what they think and what they feel because they feel now you're tired of trying. You're tired of trying after someone is reappearing, popping up, and always believing they deserve the better side of you when they have only given you the worst of themselves. Yet this energy believes they are ready. Hmm. This energy believes they are ready to communicate, yet they are still avoiding something, blocking something, ignoring something that they are entangled in, tied up in, hmm. intertwined in. So it seems like someone is avoiding something so they don't feel naked, vulnerable. But I feel they are bombarded with energies of what path to take because the time is now. Someone is strategizing because they feel they're ready to communicate. But I feel someone is still entangled in the smoke and mirrors, deceit concealing the truth someone is still putting on a false front 
which is why they're strategizing instead of putting both feet in. I feel this is someone who is reluctant to put both feet in, invest, devote themselves, and break the chain because they're not comfortable with the dynamics. Hmm. But I feel they have a inner knowing that they need to change, yet this energy is being hot and cold. There's a push and pull when it comes to someone who is very inconsistent in your life and even with the choices they make, as this is someone who just makes it harder every day to care, understand them. Now in so many ways I feel this energy has only made it harder because they have denied the truth for so long. I feel dealing with this energy is a mixed bag, especially when it comes to change because there is no resolve, there is no conclusion, there is no completion when it comes to someone who is always causing tension, stress, and conflict due to their illusion. Someone is wanting you to play along in some type of illusion that they have created, but I feel many of you know that is not the effort or the intention of love. But I feel someone just can't give you the intentions you need when it comes to that. Someone's still not being genuine because they're still swept up in an illusion Someone is reluctant to change, and this is why they're entangled in tension. When they really just want to have what they want or have what they feel they need, but they're still stuck in a wave of emotion where someone is still unstable in unexpected holdups or standards or even a per perception. Hmm. Because someone has yet to ground themselves, not yet. Someone is still going through a lot of blessings for clarity and potential. But I feel for many of you, this energy is very charming when it comes to the history of this relationship, as well as their words. And I feel when you're dealing with them, you must still be cautious. Because this energy is choosing words wisely. And even if they are unstable, they are still strategic and you must be mindful of their desperation because I feel this energy will do anything to sway you. I feel something is happening slowly but surely when it comes to the distance, but I feel to the fact that you are giving self love, hmm, manifesting when it comes to breakthroughs, someone may not have a chance to surrender to forgiveness. I feel even though someone feels they're ready, they're not ready yet. Someone is just not ready for the love that you intentionally give or someone is just not ready to be vulnerable. Someone is still not listening. Someone is still not listening and this is why something has become a bittersweet memory or a bittersweet connection because they always seem to leave you with a broken heart. I feel dealing with this energy is a mixed bag because there is never any resolve. It always seems like you're just dealing with what you were given instead of making moments to last. I feel this is someone who has become unstable over time, but still hiding behind a disability or hiding behind their weaknesses, alcohol, whatever the case, please take it higher resonates, but someone is still hiding behind something. And this is why they're at a distance, but someone is getting that itch or something has worn thin when it comes to their cycles. And this is why the ball is definitely in your court when it comes to someone who claims to have washed their hands of you. Now they're hoping those same hands are open to receive. I feel like this is someone with sketchy energy who left you hanging. I feel this energy left you hanging when it comes to communication and they were being deceptive about what they chose, what they chose to align themselves with. This energy was restricting themselves, restricting what they wanted to give you, restricting their love and even how they wanted others to treat you. Now their energy is hoping for an opening. But I feel due to the lack of communication and deception, a fatal event will cause some type of hmm, outstanding event. Hmm. 
So it seems like a special event almost seems like a miracle <laughs> because someone is now under pressure. So it seems like a special event puts someone in a very <sighs> uncomfortable space to do the work. I feel this energy really doesn't care what it feels like. They really just care what it looks like and they know it looks a mess. And it feels and it feels like this energy is pushed to make a change. So this is why someone is trying to push the narrative. Push the narrative about them being different. But I feel it's only because they're seeking solace or status. They're wanting others to also believe that they have changed. But I feel the fact that you are seeking real change, their antics won't get through you. Mm. I feel this is someone who needs to do the shadow work when it comes to their choices because they're only creating more differences by being a runner or not doing things the right way, cutting corners. I feel there's a lot of wear and tear when it comes to the games they play. And this is why there is no open door or a lack of opening when it comes to someone who has restricted you in the past. I feel this is someone who restricted their love or their energy in some type of effort to hold you accountable or even punish you but I feel someone took something too far or someone was never justified in their actions and this is why they lost something that should have been so special when they had you. I feel for many of you the way they left things was very reckless, weak, mm. nothing was solid now that you look back mm. but I feel someone is not able to fill that void. They've been running from space to space, looking for the same energy, looking for that same love, and it's something they can't find in other energies or other people, no matter how hard they search or how hard they look. Yet I feel someone is still not compromising, even though they know you're a perfect match. Someone's still not compromising even though they're going to make an offer. And I feel this is an offer. They feel you won't refuse. I feel this energy is going to come in impulsively mm. because they feel like something is not finished. I feel this is someone who is still not compromising, but they are only doing this because they feel like they hold status and they don't have to compromise. But I feel this is a risk that they're going to take mm. that makes makes you feel like they're giving no effort. Hmm. So I feel the risk they take is also what eventually hangs them in the end. I feel there's a lot of inner conflict that leaves this energy damaged and deep down this energy is also feeling like you've added to their pain so it's only right for them to give you the same energy but I feel this energy has given you no effort from the beginning. Hmm. I feel what strikes them out is their lack of effort hmm. because I feel something is slowing down for them. They know it. Things are not the same. They're off balance when it comes to superficial ways and I feel someone is being awakened when it comes to their inner conflict or through their inner conflict because the damage that they have caused has now become the reflection of who they always claim they'd never be. But I feel the differences and the choices they make when they reach out to you is truly what causes them to strike out with you in the end. But I feel someone is holding on hmm. because they feel like in some way, somehow, you are too. I feel someone is holding on because they know you're going to put both feet in, even if they hesitate. Someone knows that you're going to put all of you into a connection. But I feel in so many ways, many of you are expecting them to be lackluster. And this is why they won't get the same you they got in the beginning. As I sense everything has changed when it comes to someone who has been hot and cold with you. I feel this energy wants a new beginning, especially when it comes to forgiveness. This energy believes your forgiveness is cold for you letting it all go. But I feel your silence is the very thing that has liberated you. Liberated you when it comes to someone who has been hot and cold to an apology. I feel this energy wants you to believe they have changed. 
lot of people there hot and cold and hard to understand because they're still dealing with foolish ways. I feel this energy is still investing in clownish ways as I feel their regrets hmm, has yet to really take place or settle in because this energy is still numbing their issues and lashing out at others just to ease their pain. I feel this energy has yet to step into regrets when it comes to what was lost or even true love, but I feel this energy is moving in silence because they're still putting up a fight. So for many of you, this energy is going to communicate because they feel entitled to you in some way. They feel entitled to your forgiveness. They feel they don't have to do much. This energy also believes you should let the past go. But I feel the past is still the present because this energy is still reckless with their words as well as their energy. I feel this is someone who is fighting an ending but wanting to rush in. Yet this energy is still coming out with player ways. Someone is still playing games when it comes to a fragile heart or something that is already broken. I feel this is someone who is contemplating manifesting, wanting to bring something to fruition, but I feel what they're wanting to bring to fruition is the very thing you're running from because it is not only unhealed, it is dysfunctional. I feel many of you feel drained or unappreciated when dealing with this situation. Because someone is still stuck in snake-like ways or ego, karmic energies, where someone knows they're not happy, but they're still making the sacrifice. But through sacrifice, something will be revealed when it comes to a thin line between love and hate. Someone is going to have a true understanding when it comes to love and those they should have never given into but I feel whatever you have done when it comes to this separation whatever you have done when it comes to allowing someone to get or receive what's coming their way without putting in any type of effort was truly the plan as I sense the more you reach out or try to fix something the more you delayed something but I feel whatever you have done lately is definitely on target because the difference the difference is Someone is now true, truly in a space where being loved by you is almost looking like a luxury. I feel this is someone who feels foolish, but this energy is not foolish enough to risk it all on change. As I said before, this energy feels like they have to come from a space of strategy because they feel like they don't know you. This energy feels like they don't know you like they thought that they did. This energy was also spreading lies that are now seen as false, phony, fake. Now that others are seeing the abundance and the light that many of you have stepped into. Many of you could be stepping into a perfect match or something that is solid after releasing something or someone who was restricted trying to restrict you in some type of way. I feel liberating your energy truly affected their soul because someone never truly envisioned finding closure or solace in a different way. However, that is the cause and effect of someone who thought they knew you because someone is now realizing they never knew you at all. I feel this energy wants you to believe this energy has changed in a way that they're no longer in an unstable place, especially when it comes to their words because their words definitely cut deep because it always seems like they know exactly what to say. I feel like this energy has restricted you when it comes to affairs of the heart, energy surrounding love or just being connected in a big way because they want you to go through them to receive what you need. But I feel for many of you, you found another way. This is why the ball is in your court. And many of you may find exactly what you you are looking for hmm. because you are so used to putting both feet in. I feel many of you could be hesitant to whatever's coming your way, but the fact that it's tailor-made for you, you're wanting to open up in a big way, hmm. which is causing someone who is closed off to you or closed off to new beginnings to want to be a part of your life or your testimony even more. In fact, someone is wanting to tether their energy to you but this energy has a history 
of being a part of the next big thing or trying to string something along, even though they know they were trying to hold back. I feel this is someone who wants you to be surprised, hmm. blinded by some type of change. Someone is wanting to love bomb you or put some type of stress on the communication or the connection. Someone is wanting to string something along. Hmm. And for many of you, it almost feels like this energy wants to play with your feelings or play with your heart. But I feel that this energy just doesn't have a true compass on how to navigate things with you. So they're winging it. And the only way they know how is to show you the love that they know they never gave. And this is why many of you are going to see right through the fact that they are wearing a mask, pretending, putting up a front, not being genuine. I feel this is someone who knows they cannot influence you because you are not blinded. I feel for many of you, you are not blinded the way that they are. Many of you are heavily protected and I feel your aura is different now that you have released things that no longer serve you. I feel this is someone who feels forbidden in a way when it comes to you because of all the gambles that they took. Someone is still pretending they're not a risk. Hmm. Someone is still pretending that they're not a risk, but this energy is still bringing conflict. This is someone who is still bringing conflict because they're still clashing when it comes to change, being transparent. This energy is still in pain. I feel this is someone who feels like a clown but they won't show it. This energy feels like a clown and could be going to the extreme when it comes to family and what is being said and heard. Someone is still causing drama because of their decisions or their reckless ways. But even though this energy is lost, someone still feels, even though they don't hold position, they're still going to reach out. Someone feels like they have nothing to lose because they are taking a look at their surroundings and the things they have invested themselves into and they know they're coming up short and bound to lose, which is causing me to feel you might hear. You might hear from them soon. As I said before, this energy wants you to see them in a solid way. They want you to see them as loyal, a familiar space that is harmless, yet I feel this energy is easily swayed. I feel this energy is easily swayed because they're showing off, showing up as lost and still going to the extremes. I feel this energy is still making erratic decisions because they're still sitting in pride and ego, still wondering what people think when they should be wondering where they're going and what kind of dangers they have gotten themselves into because you're not allowing them to be a hazard to your spiritual growth or even your spiritual journey. As this is someone who is still trapped when it comes to time and effort, someone is still lost due to their reckless ways or their reckless ways and ha bad habits. This energy is still connected to drama, hmm. creating problems because they're thirsty for attention and this energy believes they're gonna get it however it comes or however it's received as they are still confused to their own path or the fact that they are put in place of position but still lacking when it comes to wisdom which is why their actions will never speak louder than their disrespect since they have somehow convinced themselves it's part of their personality yet I sense regardless of what they're trying to hold back their curiosity just might get the best of them as they are reminiscing, dwelling on the memories, and hoping that you are doing the same. But I feel, as I said before, someone has a history of being risky or causing drama. Hmm. Someone's still taking a gamble, still taking a risk when it comes to contradicting you or not facing reality. Someone is still in denial about you, bottling up what they feel. But I feel in so many ways, they're only going to cause something to be final. As you are no one's fool, someone is going to have to renegotiate what they thought they knew or even felt when it comes to you. Because if they come at you with what they thought they knew about you, this fool just might deserve to lose you. As they might be miserable with the company they keep, but I feel their true karma is losing you.